What is going on guys? Zuggy Fishing here, back to you with another video. Hope you guys are so well, hope you guys are living life to the fullest, being positive, confident, optimistic, loving life, being resilient, and overall just loving it, because that's what that's what it's about. That's what we do in our channel. If you are new, welcome. I am Zuggy Fishing. We do everything positive on this channel, with positive vibes, confidence all around. So if y'all like fishing, outdoor stuff, y'all should hit that red subscribe button, leave a like on this video, and a comment. Today, it is December 25th, aka Christmas. Happy birthday, Jesus. I do not know when I'm going to be posting this video. Kind of weird the schedule I have um, when I upload my videos. Um, I post three times a week and um, I try to film as much as possible, so I do not know when this video is gonna be posted. But happy Merry Christmas, happy New Year, whenever you guys see this video. I'm so stoked for 2021. Um, 2020 was a great year. It may not have been a great year for society in general, but a great year um, in my eyes. We're always trying to look at the positive um, out of everything. So if you hope y'all are well, hope y'all are enjoying life. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys go follow my Instagram and TikTok at Zuggy Fishing. The links for it are in the description. Y'all, I hope y'all are well living life. We have a very special video for today. So I got some things for Christmas. Um, some that I spent my own money on and a few things that my dad and mom got me. The sweatshirt that you see, this Guggenbait sweatshirt. Um, a, a huge shout out to my mom and dad for getting me the sweatshirt. I really appreciate it and I love it. Well, I did get some um, of some stuff with my own money um, to treat myself for Christmas. In this video, I do have a lot of stuff and I'm going to be breaking it up into different videos for y'all. And you guys do not want to miss those videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, turning on post notifications. But today, I actually went to Dick Sporting Goods and picked up some lures for for myself. Um, I got four lures from Dick Sporting Goods and then I actually ordered something from the Guggen Squad website on the Guggen Squad Stocking Stuffer. Well, so we have the Guggen Squad Stocking Stuffer. Basically on the Guggen Squad website, they had tons of different stocking stuffers that you could choose from. The OG Guggen Squad one, you had a Flare one, a Lake Fork Guy one, a Parrick one, a John B one, um, a Lunkers one. I'm pretty sure that's all there was. They had a series of stocking stuffers um, that you could choose from. Now, I did pick up the Guggen Squad one. I have it right here. It's actually pretty sick. It comes in a cool little carrying case um, that fits in a stocking for Christmas time. And we have the Guggen Squad one. I didn't get any of the other ones. Some of them were sold out. I just decided to go with the OG Guggen Squad one. So we're going to open this bad boy up today and look what's inside. It's the Guggen Squad stocking stuffer right here. They call it a stocking stuffer because it comes in like this cool um, little mesh case right here. I think this thing is awesome for even storing tackle. Um, definitely going to keep this thing. It's pretty, pretty cool. So it comes in like this full material case. Pretty sure it's, a me it's like a mesh case kind of, kind of in between like fabric and mesh. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool. So there's tons of baits in here. And to be honest, I do not know what baits are inside the stocking stuffer. I kind of ordered it blindly. Um, I kind of wanted to open it on a video for you guys to see what's inside. It'd be pretty interesting. I do not know what to expect out of the Guggen Squad stocking stuffer. The purchase came in the mail. I got it right now. First time looking at it. So we are going to check it out today. Cool little Guggen Squad stocking stuffer. This is it from the backside. Not sure what's inside, but uh, apparently like the Guggen's uh, picked this and for Christmas. So it's pretty, pretty cool. We're gonna take a look at it. Take a look at the Guggen Squad stocking stuffer today. This is my first time opening it. So it's kind of like a, like a, almost like a drawstring bag. Um, so there's it inside. You guys are getting a look before me. All right, so I do not know how many baits we got in here. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five baits in the stocking stuffer. So pretty, pretty solid stuff right here. We're gonna take a look at everything. We're gonna dump it out. I'm gonna go through these baits, what's inside. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, all right, some of the newer stuff. This is pretty sick, all right, yeah, that, that's all. So we got a little mesh um, case, you know, good for fitting in your stocking. Pretty, pretty sick stuff. So we got a little mesh bag right here. Definitely gonna be storing some tackle in this thing in the future. So we're gonna put it down like that. And we have tons of baits right here. Yep, five baits right here. And as I'm taking a look, these are actually the newer Guggen baits. So in the Guggen Squad stocking stuffer are the newer ones that just came out. I've done videos on these baits, but we're going to take a look at them right now. Also, the first Guggen bait we have are the OG Guggen Baits Bandito Bugs. You guys have seen me use the Bandito Bugs a lot in my videos. They're awesome, awesome creature imitation baits. I absolutely love the Bandito Bugs with all of the colors that they come with. It's an excellent, excellent creature imitation. It's actually one of my favorite Guggen Baits of all time. Sorry, there's a glare with the light, but we're gonna try to get the best angle of the Bandito Bugs. We're gonna take them out of the package in a second. This is the Guggen Baits Bandito Bug right here, ladies and gents. I absolutely love this bait. You guys wanna Texas rig this bait, bounce it along the bottom. 
it's a big bass bait. I'm going to tell you that right now. So we're going to take the bandito bugs out of the package and I'm going to show you guys what they look like. Not my favorite color of the bandito bugs. My favorite color of the bandito bugs, the June bug or the Okeechobee craw color. This is, I do not know the exact color of this Guggen bait. We're going to check them. This is the Alabama craw Guggen bait bandito bug right here. So it's kind of like an orange and a green slash black color in the same bait. So we're going to take these out of the package right now. I'm going to show you guys what the bandito bug looks like right here. A bug on the bottom of the water, a crawfish, any, any creature imitation. That is what the bandito bug imitates right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. We got the orange on that side and then the green on the back side right here. The bandito bug is an awesome bait. You guys want to Texas rig this thing on a three or four ot hook. Whatever size of bandito bug that you're using, um, they do have the mini ones or the regular ones. You guys want to curate either a um, anywhere between a two and a four odd hook. So for this bandito bug right here, I would use a three odd Texas rig hook, a three odd EWG worm hook. Guggen makes them with the hammer hooks. You guys can get eagle claw hooks, Gamasathu. I can't pronounce that by the way. But the Guggen baits bandito bug is an awesome, awesome bait. Now these legs over here, they like disconnect. Um, from the actual bait to get the action even more abrasive in the water. You have so you have these claws on the bait that just give an erratic action in the water. This bait falls parallel and sits on the bottom just like that. And you Texas rig it, you drag your rod tip up, bounce it along the bottom. The bass absolutely love this thing. Rated with the scent, it's an excellent creature bait imitation. Not only can you use this thing on Texas rig, which is what I mainly recommend, you guys could also use it on a trailer, a jig, a chatter bait, a spinner bait. Bandito bug is an awesome Texas rig bait to bounce along the bottom, flip it around structure, even punch with the bandito bug. I highly recommend watching Griffin Fishing's channel. If you guys want to learn about punching. I'm not a master in punching, but Griffin is. And you guys should totally watch his channel to learn how to punch the bandito bug. But I mainly recommend Texas rig in this thing. You guys can put some tungsten on it if you guys want to get it down to the bottom. Flip it around brush, flip it around structure, flip it along banks, also deeper water as well. But I mainly recommend utilizing structure, bounce along the bottom, drag it along the bottom with a Texas rig, 100% effective with the Bandito bug. Next bait we have in our Guggen Squad stocking stuffer is something called the Guggen Squad Explode Toad right here. Guggen Toad is a soft plastic top water frog. Guggen Explode Toad is um, a top water soft plastic frog. Basically, there's two legs on the back of it. And if you guys cast this on the top of the water, it's very hard to open this package. If you guys, if you guys cast it on the top of the water and basically slow retrieve it, uh, this frog sits on the top and the legs kind of kick out and almost like a whopper plopper slash buzz bait motion. Not like your, your standard hollow body frog. You guys want to be fishing this thing faster on the top of the water. It's a top water soft plastic toad. So this is actually a very interesting color. Guggen Baits Explode Toad is a versatile. It's an extremely versatile topwater frog. You have this ridged body right here, which is very versatile for hookups and the action in the water. And you have these two legs right here on the back of the explode toad. And you can unconnect these legs just like that. And they and they kind of they're kind of like wacky wacky legs. And they sit on the top of the water. This bait sits on the top of the water and you slow retrieve the bait and these legs kick up water. So it kind of comes across and in the water, these legs kick up a crazy amount of water and create a crazy action. This is the Alabama Craw um, Color Explode Toad. It's the same thing as the Bandito Bug. Beautiful green side on that bait and a yellow belly on this bait. I think this is one of the most realistic colors of Guggen baits, um, especially for frog fishing. You have that green side and then that orange side, which is a phenomenal uh, bullfrog imitation. And frogs that I have in my ponds and lakes, definitely, definitely essential color for the imitation. The Guggen Baits Explode Toad is versatile. You can Texas rig it. I recommend doing a five-aught Texas rig hook. It's a big presentation. And that five aught text rig hook is the maximum hookup ratio of this frog. It's a big bait. So you need a big EWG worm hook. So when you cast this thing out, you want to slow retrieve it. And basically this thing will sit on the top of the water and these legs will kick up an immense amount of water. I am going to be using it more in the spring and the summertime. I have not gotten to have its full experience in the in the fall and winter months because it kind of came out early to mid winter. So it's it's not the most versatile time right now in New Jersey to use this bait. The bass are, are on the bottom. They'd be looking for finesse stuff, not really top water bite, but 100% looking forward to use this thing in the spring summer. The Explode Toad, use a five out texture hook, slow roll it on the top of the water, really, really excellent stuff. 
great reaction strike bait, and with the slaunch sauce, that's what, that's what I love about this. Like with the Eat Me Filthy Frog, it doesn't have that slaunch sauce on it. The Explode Toad, it has the slaunch sauce. So not only do you get that erratic action of the legs on the top of the water, but you also get that scent, which I think is excellent and really, really effective. Well, the Guggen Baits Explode Toad, that is bait number two in our Guggen Squad stocking stuffer. Let's get on to number three. Explode Toad is an excellent, excellent bait for a top water reaction strike bite. Roll it over grass, roll it along structure, um, along banks as well to, to imitate that dying bait fish or frog on the top of the water. Um, it's essential and it's a really, really excellent Guggen bait. The third bait we have in our Guggen baits stocking stuffer is something we call the rattling chunk. I actually did a full video on the rattling chunk a while ago. So you guys go check that out if you haven't already. But y'all, the rattling chunk is a phenomenal, phenomenal craw bait. I actually did a video on the explode toad and the rattling chunk in the same video. It was a very sick video. I broke down these baits immensely, how to fish them, where to fish them, and, and some different qualities about the bait. Now, the rattle and chunk, it's not the same thing as a crack and craw. The crack and craw is an imitation um, of a crawfish. However, this is the same concept. However, there is some differences. The rattling chunk is a shorter presentation than the crack and craw, and the crack and craw doesn't have any rattles in it. The rattle and chunk has um, abrasive rattles in it. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to um, show you guys right now. I think you guys could hear that. The rattle and chunk, this is what it looks like. This is in the summer craw color. Abrasive rattles in this thing. Two ways I'd like to fish the rattle and chunk. The first is Texas rig. Smaller profile bait. So it's not ideal for Texas rigging. However, you still can. Main purpose that the Guggen's implemented for this bait is for it to be a trailer. Throw it on the back of a jig, a chatterbait, a spinnerbait, um, anything along those lines. That is what the rattle and chunk is mainly um, curated for. So what's also cool about the rattle and chunk is there's actually this little pilot hole in the back of the rattle and chunk and you could actually push the rattle out of the bait. So if you don't want that rattle in the bait for whatever reason, you can push it out. It's kind of tough to push out, but we're gonna try to push it out. Oh, you could actually, actually do it from the head of the bait as well. So we're gonna push it out and I'm gonna show you guys this rattle. Yep, perfect. Boom, little rattle right here. Kind of hard to see in the video, but boom, there's your little rattle. That's what creates all that abrasive action in the water and you can put it back in the Guggen bait right here. So this is the rattle and chunk. Highly recommend doing it on a trailer. Um, a jig, a spinner bait, a chatter bait. Also Texas rigging, but not ideal for Texas rigging overall. Phenomenal scent with the slaunch sauce and the summer craw color is an excellent dark color. For, so if you have a green pumpkin, spinner bait, chatter bait, jig, um, if you have a black and blue even, if you have um, a fire orange color, these are all excellent colors to match the summer craw Rattle and Ned with. Rattle and Chunk is basically a really, really great trailer. It's great for, for finesse stuff on the bottom like a jig or if you're swimming a chatterbait. These two craw legs right here, excellent, excellent stuff for that motion in the water. You get that kick in motion when you are swimming by this bait. You get that action on the bottom when, when the jig is bouncing and these 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 craws kind of kind of go crazy in the water. Like they, they bounce like that. So you either have that swimming motion like this or the bouncing water on the bottom. So the rattle and chunk is a phenomenal, phenomenal bait, highly recommended. In bait we have in our stocking stuffer, something called the click bait. Now I have used the click bait in videos before. Very, very interesting video. If you haven't watched that, I highly recommend go checking that out. Right here, we have the Guggen Squad Clickbait. Guggen Squad Clickbait is basically a bladed jig, and there are some different characters of this bait that differentiate it a lot. Guggen Squad Clickbait is a bladed jig. Now, there are these beads and the blade on it that create this clicking sound. Now, they call it the clickbait um, for two reasons in, in, in my eye. One is because it makes a clicking sound in the water. Obviously, bounce that name off with YouTube with clickbait and all that stuff. So this is the Guggen Squad clickbait right here, ladies and gents. I did do a full video on this, so go check it out um, on my channel. It's just, I believe it's called Fishing the Guggen Squad clickbait. It's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. So this is the Guggen Squad clickbait right here, a very, very beautiful bait. So if you guys are familiar with the Z-Man chatterbait, it's a very similar concept. However, there are some different externalities of this bait that make it different. So you have the hand-tied skirt. You, this is a 3 8 ounce clickbait. You also have this big blade on top, which is a bigger presentation. This is a bigger presentation bait. I like the Z-Man chatterbaits that are kind of a low presentation. This is a big fish bait, ladies and gents. This will get you some good fish. 
Now, what's, what's unique about this bait is that there are these beads on the bait. You got three right there and you have one up there. So four beads total on this bait. Blade clacks against the beads to create kind of like a clicking sound. It's actually very, very interesting. I did a full video on it, so go check it out. But basically you swim this bait in the water and this blade clacks against the bead and it makes like kind of a clicking sound. It's very, very interesting and unique. Two main ways to fish the Guggen Squad clickbait. The first being a uh, slow retrieve. So basically just cast it out, slow retrieve, and while you're swimming this bait, this blade will clack against the beads, creating an abrasive action in the water. Pattering in the water, creating so much action and vibrations, attracts the fish to bite this bait. Another way you could fish the Guggen Squad clickbait is off the bottom, like a jig. It's called the bladed jig because you can cast it out, it will sit on the bottom just like this, and you lift your rod tip up or jig your rod, and this thing kind of just bounces like a jig off on the bottom. Still the abrasiveness of the rattles with the beads create that clicking sound, so much more attraction than if it didn't have that. Absolutely love the Guggen Squad clickbait. I highly, highly recommend this bait. It's a big fish bait. Get it on the bottom of the water, swim it, slow retrieve it. You'll get that vibration and that action, and it comes in excellent colors as well. You guys could check Carl's Bait and Tackle, which I'll leave the link for in the description, or you guys could check the Guggen Squad website or Dick Sporting Goods. Excellent, excellent stuff with the Guggen Squad clickbait. Clickbait is an excellent, excellent bait, and the next and final bait we have in our Guggen Squad stocking stuffer is something we call the Guggen Squad Thick Jig. The Guggen Squad Thick Jig right here, it's a heavy flipping jig. It's a one ounce flipping jig. So a bigger presentation jig. You guys want to be fishing jigs along structure, flipping it in brush, um, bouncing it along banks within grass as well. The big one ounce jig, 100% effective for flipping in grass. Now to get down to those bass that are, that are in that vegetation, in those mats, a big old flipping jig. Like look at the head on that jig. It's a super, super big and effective jig for flipping big heavy structure to get this bait down there. Those smaller jigs take a longer time to sink down. However, the one ounce jig is effective for getting through grass, getting through vegetation, getting through lily pads, getting through all that hydrilla and weeds. That's what this jig is effective for. Big old flipping jig, flip it around structure, brush, vegetation, weeds, hydrilla, mats, anything like that. You guys wanna be fishing the Guggen Squad thick jig in, a big old one ounce jig in order to get the job done. Bounce this thing along bottom, punch with it. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal crawfish imitation, injured bluegill imitation as well. Overall, excellent bait. Y'all, five baits in our Guggen Squad stocking stuffer. We have the Explode Toad, the Rattle and Chunk, the Bandito Bug, the Thick Jig, and the Guggen Squad Clickbait. All phenomenal lineups. I am going to be doing a challenge on the Guggen Squad stocking stuffer in a later video. The Guggen Squad stocking stuffer right here. It's a really, really good buy in my opinion. I think it's going to be fun to catch some fish on these baits. It's going to be really interesting. I am going to be doing a challenge video on this. So make sure you guys leave a comment and remind me. Don't, 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 uh, don't forget to remind me about this challenge because it's going to be absolutely sick. I'm going to be making a video on this thing very soon. So we have the Guggen Squad stocking stuffer, highly recommended. Now I'm not sure the difference between all the stocking stuffers, um, within the different Guggens. Like I think Flair, you know, you know, customized his own and Lunkers and et cetera, but this is kind of the Guggen in general one. So the Guggen Squad stocking stuffer, excellent, excellent stuff. Now I did mention earlier in the video that I picked up four baits from Guggen Baits kind of, you know, just, just freelancing around. So I actually picked up a thick jig right here in the black and blue color and another thick jig right here. Now this is the same color as the one in the stocking stuffer. However, this is a three eighths ounce thick jig and this is a half ounce thick jig. So we picked up two different sizes as well. Phenomenal, phenomenal flipping jigs. One in the black and blue and then one in the rotten pumpkin color. Excellent, excellent baits right here. Um, flipping big structure, flipping along mats, fishing it along banks. I absolutely love the thick jigs. I think they're excellent, excellent baits. I also picked up another clickbait. This is in that fire tiger color, that orange fire color right here. An excellent attractive bait. I went through the clickbait before. It's really, really awesome. Gotta love the clickbait. You can squat clickbait, an effective vibrating jig right here. And another bait that's actually not a Guggen bait, but from the beautiful people at Catchco. We got the baby bullgill right here. It's very hard to see with the light, but I did a full 
video on the baby bull gill. It's an excellent, excellent swim bait, and you guys love that video. So let me know if you want me to catch some fish on the baby bull gill. I actually got a different pattern than the ones I bought before. This is kind of like that blue and white pattern. It's more of a shad imitation, while the other one I bought was uh, more of a bluegill imitation. So I'm gonna take this thing out of the package actually and show you guys the baby bull gill. It's an excellent, excellent swim bait. I highly recommend this thing. It's phenomenal action. If you guys haven't seen my swim bait video on the baby bullgill and the baby bull shad, I highly recommend watching that. The baby bullgill three jointed swim bait from Catch Co. Y'all, I'm gonna leave Carl's Bait and Tackle linked down below. If you guys become a Carl's Club member, you guys can get the Baby Bullgill for a super discounted price, nearly 30% off the Baby Bullgill. So you don't have to buy it from Dick Sporting Goods for 15 bucks. You guys can get it for a way cheaper price on Carl's. I'll leave Carl's Bait and Tackle linked in the description. Y'all, excellent, excellent swim bait, Baby Bullgill. Well, I appreciate you watching today's video. A Merry Christmas. It is Christmas today. I hope you guys spend it with family and friends safely and enjoying the holidays and everything like it and living on the positive side of things, not always looking at the negative, always living positively, loving life no matter what. Y'all, the Guggen Squad stocking stuffer was absolutely sick. Glad we got to review that and the other baits that I bought as well. And a huge shout out to my mom and dad for buying me this Guggen bait sweatshirt. I really, really appreciate that from them. But y'all, I appreciate you watching today's video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video and a comment if you guys like fishing and the outdoors and some positive vibes all over the place. All right, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Zuggy Fishing. Be positive, just fish.